And last year's 3A baseball state champ, the Amory Panthers, they defended its state title this week. And I had the pleasure of visiting Amory early in its 2023 playoff run while the team continued to perform after the March 24th tornado tore through their community. Everything that was gone. Some more rain and just stuff was, was ruined. So everything sucking us back down the hallway. I thought the whole house was going to collapse on top of us. That's the only thing that was going through my mind was like that I love my family and I wish like I'm glad that my mom and sister weren't here. Now that was just a little bit of what the Amory baseball team was dealing with. Destroyed homes, a destroyed field in a town needing a spark. They had an Amory baseball team who delivered time and time again despite playing every game on the road. These guys had enough pressure before this, you know, and this is uh, this is added to their added to their plate. But they've uh, they've handled it well, and we are blessed with some some older guys, some great leaders. We got some brothers on this team. A couple of those brothers come from the Moranto family. Walker with two hits in the clinching game, and Braden winning MVP in the state championship series. Their dad, Derek Moranto, has had some pretty good foreshadowing back then. He said back in early May that his boys and the team could thrive wherever they played. Yeah, you give these guys a bat and a ball and a glove, it really doesn't matter where, <laughs> where you play. They've been playing it in the front yard, out in the field, everywhere. But hey, they still have their gloves, they still have their bat, and they still have their ball, and they've been given the opportunity to keep playing. It's and Amory, they had a bat and a glove and a ball out at Trustmark Park, just what they needed to win the state title and bring some light to Amory, Mississippi.